Hey, Dylan, Alan Cockrell with ABC, hitting coordinator for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to take a look at your video today, talk about a few things that I see. Um, very good setup position, very strong, very balanced, uh, very athletic. Um, you're in a position to, to really uh, get a good look at the pitch, uh, head and it's fully turned towards the pitcher. Um, <clears throat> a couple things that... I'm going to talk to you about a little bit is, um, you know, the, uh, the loaded position is basically right here. When this foot gets down, that foot lands, this is the part of the swing that all good big league hitters, they look alike and, and they, they take the same, pretty much the same swing with the same moves all the way through uh, from this particular position. Okay, and, and, and this is basically what it is. Everybody has good equal bend in both knees. Okay, their knees are inside their feet right here. Okay, that's and their head sits right over the belt buckle. Okay, and I, I, I go to I go to you here, and it, it's not bad, but it's a little bit on the back side. Um, we'd rather have we'd rather have it more in this position where. This, this inside eye or your ear was actually right over your belt buckle. And, and we don't want, and that's, it, that's just because we don't want to sit back. We have, a, when we have a tendency to sit back, we have a tendency to spin in our swing. And, and really what we want to do is, is rotate weight, rotate and shift, shift weight from the back side into the front side. Okay? Uh, everybody at this position is, their, their shoulders are square. Their hands are uh, shoulder height, and they have good separation back over the back knee, and, and, and you're good there. This hip line is slightly open here in this direction. I want to try to keep those hips more square right here. Biggest thing I see, um, Dylan, is, is with this stride foot. When we set this stride foot down, we don't want the stride foot to be any more than 45 degrees and you're at 65 degrees with your stride foot. If that stride foot sets down at 65 degrees, it's going to open up the front hip and we're going to get uh, a little bit spinny in our swing. And, and spinny, I mean just sit on that back foot and spin as opposed to, you know, transferring weight, getting into the front side so we can have good direction with our hands and our back, staying through the ball, covering all the locations. With this particular um, uh, position that we're in right here, we could probably handle the ball middle in, uh, middle away, outer third, anything off speed is going to give us some trouble. Okay, so we we got to get a little bit more into that front side, and we got to keep this stride foot <clears throat> right here at a 45 degree angle. Okay, I'll run it through a couple more times from here, and I you, we can see when you. Uh, when, when you get into the swing process, that foot sets down, we just spin on that back foot. This pitch looks to be not down in a way, but I would say, you know, it's probably just above the knee. I would say it's probably um, thigh high and probably outer third, and it looks like we kind of roll over this ball just a little bit. Okay, If we're going to hit this ball the best we can, okay, from this position right here, we want to try to transfer weight into this front leg right here. And it's okay to get weight into this front leg. You just don't want this front knee to get outside that front foot. Okay? So I want to get the weight off my backside, moving it into the inner part of this front leg. And if this knee stays inside, that's going to give me a brace, and it's going to allow for my barrel to get to contact and then extend through contact. Um, when we sit on, on the back leg, and we just spin, we'll get to contact, okay? But at contact here, now the bat is going to finish around our body. All right, here's contact, all right? And that bat is finishing very quickly over in the direction, all right? And what we need the bat to do is finish this direction and then have a little fuller finish out here on this particular pitch. Uh, so my, really my suggestion is, is basically what uh, a lot of uh, really good hitters do. Uh, when they get to the loaded position and they, they, their stride foot gets down, 
um, they'll they'll start working a lot of um, a lot of T work. The toughest pitch to hit is this pitch that's out here away from us. Okay, so we'll set that T off the front foot, maybe just inside the front foot, and we're going to set it out our third. And we're going to try to get this stride foot in a position when it lands that this knee's not going to work around, and I'm not going to spin on that back foot, but rather this knee going to work forward and it's going to transfer weight into that front side. This knee is going to stay inside, so that's my brace. That's what's going to stop stop everything from, from going forward. And, and now my hands, when I bring my hands to contact, and I bring the barrel to contact, you can see if this were contact right, right here, right, there's, right there is contact on this pitch, how quickly your hands start to finish off and come off this ball. Okay, so I think uh, I think this is a drill that's going to help you uh, become a, the the best hitter that you can become with with covering covering the strike zone, both inner half and outer half. It, it's going to help you tremendously be able to handle uh, off speed pitches, curveballs, changeups that are up. They're hittable pitches. Uh, but with this spin and, and all the weight falling back here on the back leg, it's tough to stay through these balls and stay on these balls when, when I'm spinning on my back foot. So, you know, I want to try to I want to try to get you in into a position right here, transfer that weight into that front leg, make sure the knee stays inside this foot, and now you're in a position to take your take your hands and the barrel to this ball and get good extension through it, and we won't roll over it. We won't glance it and hit the little lazy fly ball to right. We'll hit it as hard as we can hit it in that direction. Okay? Dylan, that's my suggestion, bud. Um, I think you're a good enough athlete. I think you can make this adjustment. And I really want to...